Hey developers, let's create music using AI. Now you might be thinking that music created by a computer through AI is not very good, but you'll be really surprised. In this video, I have Av Coders. He's going to create some music using AI Jukebox. You actually don't have to have any programming experience at all to follow along. I think you'll be pretty surprised and how cool and how easy it is to create music this way. So yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Avocados, you've probably heard about the songs that's been written by the AI or continued by the AI. And thanks to the neural network called Jukebox from the company called OpenAI, we can do similar things ourselves at home. And what is great about all that is that you don't actually need to know how to code the neural network. So just click on that link in the description. And here we are in the Google call-up of the uh, jukebox. So in here, we first of all need to do some step-by-step -step, uh, magic. So first of all, we need to initiate the first cell, which will give us the engine we're going to run our uh, neural network on. In our case, this is Tesla P100, but Please don't fret if um, yours is slightly different. I can assure you uh, they are pretty good for the task. So once it's all done, we need to get to the second step, which is mounting our Google Drive to save sample levels as they are generated. So basically you'll need to give a permission to your Google Drive. And it's pretty straightforward as well. You just click on that link and you've been redirected to the Google prompt window where you just click allow. So basically Google is asking for permission to access his own um, service, which is weird. But anyway, you copy that um, code so you can just click on the squares and that will copy the code and you just insert it into that field. After pressing enter your Google Drive is mounted and we can carry on with the jukebox. The third step is to install the jukebox itself. That should take only um, a few seconds. And in here we need to do important imports. So these are the libraries that uh, jukebox basically uses. I'm going to fast forward here. And the next step is sampling from the 5B or 1B lyric model. And in here, we need to change the path to where it will store the samples it will generate. Because this video is purely a demonstration, I won't change anything there. So I'll just click on play. And it will run that bit of code. That should take a couple of minutes as well so we're ready and here we need to select the mode so in here we have either ancestral or primed so ancestral it creates songs based on artist and genre conditioning and primed is the song creation using an arbitrary audio sample so this is what we are going to be um, choosing in our case so we'll continue the song by providing it with a sample of that song. But of course, if you want to play around, um, you can choose Ancestral. And I should warn you that the results can be pretty random. So how can we provide it with a sample? It's pretty simple. We need a piece of song or a piece of music in the WAV format, and we need to upload it to our drive. So I've got um, some free um, sample, which is Jingle Bells. Uh, you can check out um, the result um, of this uh, sampling on my channel. And here down below, we can specify how many seconds of audio to prime on. So how many seconds before the AI's um, generated piece will kick in. So I think 12 is um, the standard and is fine. And so it will play 12 seconds of original music and then it will kick in with all his uh, might. All right, so pay attention. Now we are gonna skip this P100 
piece of code and we're going to jump to uh, the sample HPS, which is a list of hyperparameters. And then next is uh, sample length. So we need to specify how long our AI generated sample is going to be. So I'll uh, specify it as 40 seconds. So I think uh, 40 seconds is enough because sometimes you can get a pretty decent result, but sometimes it can be an absolute torture. And if you're going to mix, um, like I play a original song, then I mix it with AI uh, generated piece, then the original again, then AI again. So I think 40 seconds will be um, more than enough just to show the idea and uh, keep the uh, like comedy momentum. Right, in the next section, we need to specify the lyrics, um, the artist, the genre. Um, we leave offset as it is, so we can go to the genius.com and um, this website stores the uh, lyrics of most popular songs. And we can get the lyrics from there. I can just copy uh, the first verse. And again, you can probably copy several verses, the chorus, but for this uh, demo, I'll just need one. So I'll just replace it here. And please mind uh, the apostrophes. This is very important. Then I'll replace the artist to something um, more appealing, like um, Christmas. That's it. No. Um, We'll probably make it is um, U2 um, so we can force it to look into that direction so it will eventually um, look up in his library and see the U2 artists and uh, what the soul genre um, sounds like and it will add this to the mix because if we would just leave the Christmas Carol, it will only do Christmas Carol style. So sampling temperature is uh, 98. It's pretty well um, already set up, so nothing to change here. The next step is to execute this cell. And as we've been advised, this cell will take a while to run, approximately 10 minutes. So while it's running, I'll explain long story short why we need this, uh, this bit of code here. So essentially it will generate three levels of samples, level zero, level one, and level two. So this piece of code generates more sort of uh, high level generic um, level one and two, and it will place it in um, the folders in our Google Drive for level one and level two. And later on, we'll use these samples to upsample them into level zero. So level zero is the sample that we actually need. So imagine the cell that is currently running has finished and we skip the uh, next cell, which is audio. And we jump into this. Uh, we are not done with the large loop model, blah, blah, blah. If true del dot prior and we run that cell and then we run the cell ZS upsample, the one I'm pointing at now. And this cell will actually generate level zero samples, the ones that we need. And I have to warn you that can take up to 12 hours. And on top of that, you sometimes need to make sure that the uh, Google Colab is running as the front program. So do not put it in the background because it may crash. And we're only given 12 hours per day, I believe. And in here you can see the active sessions. If you need to terminate the session, if something went wrong and you want to restart the whole thing again. But imagine that upsampling is finished now and we have restarted the window. We need to go through all that process again. Click there and there. Here we need to change the directory, uh, the path um, again to the samples of where we want to put the uh, level one, uh, level zero sample. And in here, we're going to select the prime again, and we're going to uh, specify the path to the original sample. But this time we're going to do something different. So this step, the next step, if OS.path exists, we skip this uh, step um, 
during our first run but this time we need to actually execute this step so everything up to this moment stays the same but the next step after that is something we're going to execute this time so we select that step the next one remains the same we select that as well and in here we need to make sure nothing uh, changed so we should see the lyrics and the artists and in here we run that as well we run that step number 11 as well this one we skip audio and in here we run the cell that begins with if true and then the cell which up samples and gives us the sample of the level zero this should probably run a little bit longer as well and in here you'll see a new folder which will be called level zero and this is going to be our final goal now this may take a while and please be patient because later on you can sample your song with this um, level zero sample so original sample and level zero sample another piece of original sample so on and so forth and as you can imagine because it takes so long to generate one level zero sample which is um, essentially 40 seconds long you might imagine that the whole song will probably take you several days and now let's hear the result shall we Great and low time, what do you do? Slow to cat's door. After there's one to do. I saw the little one.